In this video, we'll look at one more thing that we'll be taking advantage of in the early version of this uh, program, and that is flow rates. And since we already have uh, approximator cubes that have certain volumes, uh, well, we can then quickly and easily calculate gallons and liters and things of that nature. And so let's see what we have over here. So here's the um, pool and the slide. But now what we have here in the scene as well is down below here, I have a drain. And below the drain, of course, we have to have a pump. Because without the pump, we can't pump water back into the pool to clean it as it's getting filtered through here. right? So we have to have a pump in the scene. So let's just see what it looks like. All right, so there it is down below the surface. It's kind of a, it's kind of a basic pump. You can kind of see the impeller beneath it there, and it kind of comes out, comes up this way. So let's go get uh, just a basic object for starters, and let's see where this thing is. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Let's put it up on the... Oh, you can see he wants to drain down there already. And let me put some of these in here if I can. So there they are running down. And not only will we use this as a pump just for, you know, animation effects and for, you know, designs within the uh, program, but we can also use this as a counter. So since, for instance, if each one of these objects represents a certain volume and you know, we calculate it out to have so many cubic inches and we know there's 231 cubic inches per gallon then we can calculate maybe each one of these is a, I don't know eighth of a gallon it's probably less because these are much smaller but um, and then if we know how many of those volume amounts are running through here during a certain period of time we can calculate how many gallons per minute for instance are taking through here we can calculate the design of our pump that way or many other things as well so we'll use that as a counter object as well and uh, let's run the pump let me see if the pump is not on oh when you see the drains are looking clogged or I better turn the pump on all right there's there's the pump going and then we should see the objects you have to look carefully here but right in here you should see I have some errors I see the, the pump wants to kick them out outside of the uh, surface and I didn't put enough in there I better put more in <laughs> let's see all right so all draining down there all right let's get that pump going all right and theoretically it should come up here and flow back into the pool so then we should have a closed cycle there as long as all these things stay inside of course and we're not and we're not counting evaporation for the moment and things of that nature. Um, there they are. So they're cruising back and they're draining down and pumping back in. So then we can use the pump for lots of other applications as well. But definitely we'll be able to use it to find approximate volumes and flow rates and uh, lots of other very interesting stuff. Or let me just see if, how, if this will continue. At some point the cubes will run out or these these aren't the cubes in here. The cubes don't work so well of course. Oh, they're, they're disappearing. They're just running out of their lifetime. So, all right. Well, I hope that gives you an idea. Maybe you can just see the running through there. All right. All right. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.